Hello my dear YouTube friends. This episode is gonna be a little bit long-winded maybe and dramatic and depressing at times but I can assure you it all ends well. So enjoy watching the video. Uh, yeah, watch it until the end. It's gonna be okay. It's really gonna be okay. Last week I, uh, I had some problems uh, uh, with the video editing because uh, my iPhone decided not to play uh, ball with my computer. So I have to explain some things that got skipped over last week. I installed uh, those sumps at the right level and then uh, installed the pipes in them. I started uh, throwing mud on the pipes to secure them in place and then I uh, I uh, secured the pipes in the sumps with uh, mortar and this mortar has now almost been drying for what 72 hours and it, it's still it's still not not completely dry um, but it's uh, it's hardened up so I'm now uh, carefully going to uh, place more soil mud dirt around those sumps to uh, just close it all off. Yeah, so the idea is that uh, I'm gonna continue one more plank on the uh, head end there and then uh, gonna continue with uh, finishing the first uh, the first level the first terrace actually it's only gonna be two terraces it's gonna be uh, one planter area and then flat on top where we will have a terrace to sit you know with tables and chairs um, so yeah, what you see there in the distance, that's, uh, that's basically going to be the depth of uh, the planting bed. So that uh, you, can actually, you can actually work here, you can stand here and, 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 and work here and then that will be all uh, flattened and uh, gravel on top. Yeah, so I gotta finish this area. And then uh, continue here, and then probably continue with the uh, the staircase. I am uh, collecting rocks and stones and uh, building debris from the site where I come across it because I'm gonna fill up concrete with uh, with all that stuff. And then later, uh, it's gotta be it's gotta be more dry because it's so incredibly swampy here of the rain once it starts drying a bit more I can uh, level flatten the area a bit and then start digging trenches for the uh, French drain I have a rough idea gonna be from all the way in the back here all the way forward um, but I might have some uh, some 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 side drains to it as well why because I have uh, Probably I have enough pipe for that and uh, might as well put it in. There's no downside to having it really, uh, provided that it's on the right angle, the right uh, slope so that it drains properly. I, uh, I'm choosing, uh, choosing for, for the, uh, the PVC pipe. This is like proper sewage pipe. And uh, you can stand, I can stand on it, I'm 130 kilos, I can stand on it with one foot, actually with part of one foot, so this is really strong enough. I, uh, they sell this, this flexible drain pipe for it with holes, but uh, I, I thought that's, that's just too weak. I want to have it sturdy, that if you would drive around here with a fully laden wheelbarrow, you're not uh, collapsing the pipe. 
I want to have it done uh, properly. It's twice the, the expense, but uh, you know, let's do it uh, do it the right way from the beginning on. So, uh, but let's carry on uh, with this uh, final uh, final plank. It's going to be two planks. I don't have planks long enough to do it in one in one go. All right, it's uh, really really wet here. Really, really swampy, and you know what? I, I, I cannot wait until I got this all done. Gravel and all, it's just a real pain in the neck to work around here. Yeah, so today is a day where I feel really demotivated or not motivated. It's been raining for days, it's cloudy, there's no sun, it's humid, the backyard is an absolute swamp. Uh, it's cold, it's just, it doesn't inspire to, to work. Also, the work in the garden, it's physically really demanding. My back hurts, my shoulders hurt, my elbows hurt, my wrists hurt. But you got to keep on going because um, if I decide to take a day off, which I could do, nobody telling me to keep on working. But if I would take the day off, I would feel worse at the end of the day, not having uh, performed anything achieved anything so i've had my breakfast i've had my coffee i've read all the news i'm wearing clean clothes i have a plan i made my plan so uh, yeah it's just uh, not thinking too much and uh, keep on going making a start and then uh, the rest will follow let's go ah, so as you can see behind me it is all mud 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 all the way all the way to the back is mud and i have to be careful where i walk because i'd be i could be stepping into a pit it's all mud, mud, mud. Now, I've got to continue with this level, uh, this terrace, but the wood is wet. The wood that I need to cut is wet and the circular saw doesn't like wet wood. 
luckily this week it's going to be dry and it's going to be sunny for the coming what 10 days or so um so yeah the prognosis looks good but it's just too wet to work here and it's costing me a lot a lot of energy um to move around here to get things done it's just uh, really annoying so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna dig some trenches let the water that's standing here on the soil uh, evacuate uh, i was waiting actually for the trenches it was the plan because uh, once i have the trenches i can't really drive around with the wheelbarrow anymore and i have to be really careful where i step i don't want to twist my ankle or, or, or twist a knee or worse but you know it's it's just it's just so incredibly wet i i need to do something about it and also when i successfully managed to evacuate all the standing water over the coming 10 days that it will be dry the soil may probably uh, dry out a little and then i can rake it and level it and prepare it really for um for the gravel on top so yeah uh, it's gonna be uh, a day of digging yeah but it's just about about getting started and then once you start it the rest will follow just starting is sometimes a problem anyway let's just go for it another day <laughs> <clears throat> ah, what did i start So as you see, I've just dug a channel and the water is collecting in there. And I want to evacuate the water into the drain that I've installed for that, which is over there. Um, but what I don't want is that uh, mud and sand collects in that drain, of course, because it would clog up the drain. Now, when I have the French drains installed, this whole gravel will, first of all, be lined with some sort of a plastic that separates sand from water and also it will be filled with gravel so water so sand will not come into these pipes but for now i uh, i don't have all of that i first of all need to get rid of the water so i've just quickly fabricated that thingy there that's just an off cut of pipe with a um, drills hold all over the place in one end and a laundry bag on top of it um yeah that's uh, that's it's not gonna make nadia happy when she sees it but we it's for a good cause so i'm gonna slide that piece of pipe into the drain and hopefully that uh, mesh bag with those small holes will prevent most of the dirt clogging up into the drain if it clogs up i can still access it over there i can send uh, a uh, my high pressure washer in there with a long hose and and uh, declog it all but i would like to prevent it if possible so let's just uh, go for that oh i i don't i don't really know what to do it is so incredibly swampy at places you just sink in the mud. And it, it, it's almost impossible to work here. See, ideally, ideally I do all the work that involves uh, moving sand before I lay down the uh, geo cloth and the grind, the gravel, sorry. 
because I don't want the sand to mix with the gravel, obviously. But uh, I'm starting to think that maybe I should just level it with the rake as much as I can and uh, dig the channel, put down that geocloth, install the drain, French drain, and order the gravel, and then put the gravel on top. So, uh, just coming from uh, Big Mat, that's one of the uh, building supply stores. I, uh, I've just ordered two big bags of gravel. Big bag is one uh, cubic meter, uh, 1,500 kilos. So uh, it's gonna be of a fitness exercise tomorrow and the day after and maybe even the day after that but uh, yeah it, it'll be worth it it'll be worth it I'm, I'm fed up I'm really fed up with the garden uh, I want to be able to walk around there I I, 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 I I can't work there so I got my uh, two big bags of gravel I hope I didn't uh, order them too early now behind me you see uh, the pipe laying, that's going to be the French drain. I gotta take the pipe out, uh, drill holes in them, and then uh, lay the cloth, special cloth, and then put a little layer of gravel in and uh, put the pipes on top and fill off with gravel. So as I cannot drive with the wheelbarrow uh, behind me, it's just too soft, uh, it's gonna be uh, filling uh, Filling the trenches with gravel by uh, carrying buckets. All right, who needs the gym when you are doing up a house like this? Let's carry on.
So, it's uh, quarter past four. I've shoveled uh, two, two big bags of gravel today, which is uh, two cubic meter, which is uh, 2,800 kilos. Two, no, 2, 3,000, 1,500 big bag, which is uh, 3,000, which is 6,600 pounds. So we have done. We filled up the trench, installed the French uh, drain, uh, and uh, yeah, I, I had uh, uh, I'd ordered too much gravel, but which, which is good. I uh, I wanted to have two bags. I didn't want to have short and uh, two bags is something I can place on our property on the street side. Uh, if I order more bags at once, then I'll have to ask for a permit uh, from uh, from the mayor. Well, it's not a big deal, but the mayor's office is not always open. I'll just uh, quickly show you uh, what I've done, because I want to take a shower and I want to have a glass, nice glass of wine. I think I deserved it. So, yeah, we closed up the French drains. I filled up that uh, back end there. You see the little periscope from the submarine sticking out. Well, that's the end of the French drain. I want to keep that accessible. I need to put an end cap on it, but I want to sort of keep it accessible in case uh, it gets clogged up. And once in a while, you just want to send uh, the hose uh, through it. Make sure it's clear and clean. Um, but yeah, it will. There will be an end cap on it, and then the the last bit will be terminated underneath the gravel, uh, so you can't see it. I don't have an end cap, and that's why that's there right now. But that's going away. Okay, and then further, I had enough gravel to uh, do the well the the walk path. He had this, I don't know, at least ten centimeter of gravel there. And I have still a, a big pile here in the back sitting there. Um, I need to level out more soil once it's dry and then uh, I can uh, I can do the rest of the garden. Now, yeah, the gravel, uh, this is a different gravel than I had in mind at first because I, I wanted to get a, uh, it's a gray colored gravel. I think it's made of granite, I'm not sure. Um, but it's very angular. It was fairly inexpensive, I must say. And uh, it is very angular. It's got sharp corners. So for the drain or for the retaining wall, which we were initially planning, that's good because it sort of locks, the, the little pebbles lock itself in place because they've got these hard angles on them. And that provides for stability, of course, and yeah, structural strength, really. Um, but then Nadia saw it and she said, nah, it looks too much like a parking lot. And she's right. It, it would have looked like a parking lot. Um, and another thing is that uh, one of our principles straight from the beginning was that um, we want to be able to walk barefoot anywhere, inside the house and outside the house. And you wouldn't be able to do that on the gravel that I initially wanted. So now we've got a different gravel, which is also not too expensive. Um, and it's, it's, it's got a nicer color, it's more rounded. Um, you can walk barefoot on this without any problem. Um, and yeah, it, it will look better, it will, it will look better. Yeah, and, and for the structural st uh, integrity, that's, it's, it's not, not so much of a, of a problem, especially not with this French drain. Yeah, so uh, filled the French drain with the gravel and I walked on it back and forth, back and forth. And, and that has sort of uh, put all the little pebbles in place, I'm sure. I, I have a little uh, hand... Uh, device for that but uh, I don't think that's necessary at all yeah I'm, I'm pretty happy uh, shoveled uh, two cubic meters of gravel today it's been a long day I'm gonna take a shower I'll uh, see you tomorrow bye
So yeah, um, I often watch videos from others doing up houses or makers or yeah, I, I watch a lot of YouTube. And I notice sometimes that some of these channels, they have like within hours of uploading, they have tens of thousands of views already. Well, I haven't. And I notice then also that these channels are often very positive about everything. They have this really cheerful tone to them and everything is possible and nothing is difficult and it's all fun and fun and games. Well, that's not this channel. I tell you honestly as it is and uh, I have to admit yesterday I did nothing all day long. After a day of shoveling two cubic meters, 3000 kilos of gravel, I had to spend a day on the couch doing nothing because my back was shot absolutely shot and I cannot take the risk of becoming immobilized so I have to be careful uh, yeah I should start my day with a good stretching because it's very labor intense and it is very labor intense because there's no access to the backyard with heavy machinery so I have to do a lot by hand and uh, yeah, I guess I'm not 25 anymore, you know. Uh, yeah, that's that's quite a realization. I just have to uh, be more careful. So today uh, I'm gonna try to flatten out this area. It is quite dry. It's not as swampy anymore. Um, it, there's a period of like 10 days prediction, uh, no rain. It's not warm, but it's sunny during the day, and that's really helpful. That's really nice. I'm going to try to flatten out this area as much as I can. And then, uh, yeah, I, I think I'm going to order more gravel. I think I'm going to order four big bags more gravel for next week. And uh, cover the whole area. I need to uh, buy some more materials to finish off uh, the walls the terraces, uh, but that's all gonna be next week, most likely. This week is gonna be uh, finishing off this area and then hopefully it's all covered with gravel. The ground is solid. I put lids on the sumps and it's gonna look uh, a lot better than it is looking now. So yeah, let's uh, get on with it and uh, finish this off. So, as you can see, uh, this morning I have put uh, the root cloth on uh, on the mud. Well, yeah, it's 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 still it's it's not really that muddy anymore, but it's still uh, fluid. Uh, let's let's put it that way. Um, yesterday I've ordered more gravel, four more bags of gravel. This is now two bags here. Four more will really be a thick layer of gravel everywhere. Um, and if I have too much, I'll still need gravel for on top of the terrace uh, later anyway. Um, yeah, they couldn't deliver today, but that's actually not a bad thing. They'll deliver next week. And in the meantime, I, I am flattening the area out. 
with uh, these OSB sheets that I placed on top. When I walk on them, um, it, it sort of flattens it out. I've seen it with planks that I had on here before. So uh, yeah, they'll work over the next, uh, over the weekend and uh, early next week. Uh, I'm so just so incredibly happy that I don't have to deal with all this mud anymore. You know, there's mud, you, you bring in mud into the house and it's just so dirty and it's just nasty. So I'm really, really happy now, uh, really getting rid of all the mud. Uh, so this, uh, yeah, we're going to leave it here uh, for the time being and uh, work on something else. And that something else is something that I've been really looking for. Do you remember a few episodes ago <laughs> I was working on those, uh, those planks? I was staining those pine planks, make them look like oak because I want to put them on the side of the house. I'll show you what, uh, what we're going to do. And this also uh, probably concludes the video for, uh, for this week because uh, I need to edit this video and uh, I'll include the things that I'm going to do to the side of the house to improve the looks, etc. I'll include that in next week's video. It's going to be pretty exciting next week because uh, yeah, we're going to fill this up with gravel, put the uh, tops on all the drains, finish that all off and then uh, we can start working on uh, yeah, the rest of the garden and uh, the house. A lot needs to be done on the house, especially on the interior. So uh, let me show you now what, uh, what I'm going to start at. And then uh, I, I will wish to thank you all for watching and for liking and especially for subscribing. And a special thanks to the people who are sponsoring the video or help me at least to offset the costs of making these videos by donating me coffee, uh, uh, buymeacoffee.com, the link below. Uh, a special, special, special thanks to the few people who donated me coffee. Okay, um, I'm gonna leave you with some pictures of, uh, of today and then I'll see you next week. Thank you very much, bye now.